Congress General Secretary Janardhan Dwedi has said uh, that the partnership between the Prime Minister and Sonia Gandhi is one that is uh, that has never been seen before. It is possible that such a relationship becomes a model for the future. Dwedi also said that the Congress will decide the Prime Ministerial candidate at an appropriate time. This is what he said. Congress Adhyaksh Srimati Sonia Gandhi और प्रधानमंत्री डॉक्टर मनमोहन सिंह के जो संबंध रहे हैं वैसा उदाहरण आमतौर से नहीं मिलता है चुनाव अभियान का प्रश्न है या चुनाव के बाद नेतृत्व का प्रश्न है इसका फैसला पार्टी बाद में करेगी आज मनमोहन सिंह जी प्रधानमंत्री हैं सब लोग एक स्वर से उन्हें मानते हैं Pallavi Ghosh, uh, Deputy Chief of the National Bureau, joining us now for more on this. Uh, Pallavi, just days after the Prime Minister returning from Durban left open the possibility of him being in the race for a third term, the statement from Janardhan Dwedi, what is the Congress thinking at this point? I think there are three uh, significant uh, implications of this statement. One, it's very clear that, you know, it's actually uh, rubbishing a statement which had been made a short while back by another general secretary, that's Dick Vijay Singh, when he said that the Prime Minister Sonia Gandhi model just does not work and there should be one, that's Rahul Gandhi, you should be made the Prime Ministerial candidate for the 2014 elections. Effectively, that has been shot down by Janardhan Dwedi. Second, yes, it's significant. It comes just days after Dr. Manmohan Singh himself suggesting that a third term for him is something which is not complete completely ruling out. Uh, but I think uh, also it's important, another application which comes in is that you're just up ahead of, for example, Rahul Gandhi addressing to business in, uh, uh, in the community at CII on Thursday and you know, increasingly it's becoming Modi versus Rahul Gandhi. The Congress certainly seems to be sending out that message that a Manmohan Sonia Gandhi kind of a formula is something which the party is willing to look at in the 2014 election should the UPA come back to power. Uh, Parvi, of course, a lot uh, is going to be made out that statement and really in terms of its significance for a third term from the Prime Minister. But also the timing of the statement is also very interesting. Absolutely. I just comes just moments, days after, in a sense, uh, Fatima, of making Narendra Modi come bringing him center stage. Uh, I think the Congress is also trying to, in a sense, downplay the Modi versus Rahul Gandhi, uh, uh, you know, the whole, uh, the, the, the Modi versus Rahul Gandhi competition or politics, which is certainly going to be thrown up up ahead of the 2014 elections, which is why I'm saying that this statement, which has come in from the media department head, is extremely uh, significant. It's unprovoked. In a sense, no one asked for it. Uh, he went to give this clarification, in a sense, also shooting down uh, Dick Vijay Singh's questioning of a PM Sonia Gandhi kind of a formula. In fact, Dick Vijay Singh has always been saying that Rahul Gandhi should be projected as a Prime Minister candidate in 2014. The Congress, of course, officially seems to have shot that down. That apart, it certainly adds on to weight to what Dr. Manmohan Singh himself said on that <laughs> onboard presser when he was asked that whether he could be the prime ministerial candidate in 2014 should UPA come back to power. He did not say a complete no. Uh, he, in fact, seemed to be suggesting that he was open to the idea of doing a repeat third term. So, in that sense, this statement coming in from the Congress is extremely significant. Right. In fact, uh, let's uh, play out for our viewers what the Prime Minister said on the 28th of March uh, while on his way back from Durban, leaving open the possibility of a third term for him. The reforms certainly have to take into account the fact that we don't have the majority to catch Parliament to approve some of our reform proposals. So we are certainly dependent on the goodwill of your party wish to accept the Prime Minister of Combination for the third term. Do you accept it? Well, I think this, these are all hypothetical questions. We will cross that bridge when we reach the the Prime Minister interestingly saying that this is a hypothetical question. We'll cross that bridge when we reach there, Pallavi. But these statements coming one after the other, uh, uh, really lending significance to what the Congress may be planning ahead of 2014. Certainly, one point is clear that they're not projecting Rahul Gandhi as their Prime Ministerial candidate just yet. That's right. I mean, you know, whenever there have been those noises or voices coming in from within the Congress party that Rahul should be projected in 2014 as a Prime Ministerial candidate, officially the Congress 
democracy has always shot it down that these decisions are always taken after the elections are held and after a judgment comes in and it's a party which takes a decision and the congress has a reason to be worried i mean you know they do not want to elevate one narendra modi to the plank of trying to complete him with rahul gandhi so that's one second the congress still does not know how it's going to be really playing out i mean projecting rahul gandhi as a 2014 prime ministerial candidate and should the upa not come back to power of course is going to add on to those who have been criticizing rahul gandhi's leadership as a vice president of the congress party rahul can no longer shy away from the responsibility of taking a responsibility actually of the failures of the congress party as he would earlier when he was just general secretary in charge of the youth congress